What's up guys, it's Justin here and today I've got another what's in my tech backpack episode and this is one that I'm very excited to bring to you guys because there's a lot of cool items but since it is a holiday season it does kind of follow that red theme where a lot of things in this episode are red and I just really like to blend the colors together. A lot of these items will also make perfect gifts and stocking stuffers or if you just want to get it for yourself or add it to your own wish list. then I think a lot of these products are things that you guys would really enjoy. As always, I'm gonna leave a link down below to everything I mentioned in this episode, but I'm also gonna be giving away a tech backpack like I did last time with some cool tech and also a smartwatch. So all you have to do to enter is make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and also drop a comment down below, and I'll be announcing a winner in the comment section in two weeks. Because it is holiday season, I do have a bit of a bonus for you guys, and what I want you to do is try to guess what is inside this box, and if you watch a lot of my videos, especially the recent ones, this is a product that has been recently shown in an episode. You can leave a comment with your guesses as many times as you want, and I'm going to pick someone who correctly guesses what is inside this box to win it. So beginning with the backpack that we have to hold everything, this is from Herschel and this is like my fifth Herschel bag. I just love their products in terms of look and design. And this is in a nice bright red color and is the Boston Red Sox theme. So I honestly don't watch any baseball at all, but I think just the colors in general made this backpack perfect for this episode because it is a nice bright and vibrant red. It also has the gold zipper and everything. And on the inside, it kind of has that silk texture that is a green color. So red, green, and gold, I mean, if that doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what it does, but it is very simple in general. It has one big compartment on the back that can hold a 15 inch laptop. And you do also have the compartment on the front for like battery packs and headphones. So the biggest item that I have in this episode is the Google Pixel Book. And the reason why I like to use this is just because it is so thin, small, light to carry around and very simple. And the design is also incredible. Whenever I'm on the go, about 90% of the things that I do on my computer are just emails, web browsing and stuff like that, or just going through Twitter and social media. So the Pixel Book is able to serve most of my needs and I just really like how thin it is. And the keyboard is just very comfortable to type on and there's a nice silicone rest as well. And I also really enjoy the trackpad, but I mean, just being able to fold this down and look at how simple it is for most needs in terms of just every day, it has been a great thing to take around. Next up, we have one of my favorite set of Bluetooth earbuds and that is the Jaybird X3. This one does come in red as well and is available in many different colors. Although Jaybird does sell the Freedom, which is a smaller and lighter version, I actually do recommend the Jaybird X3 to more people out there because it does come in at a lower price point and is more practical overall. It still feels very comfortable in the ear with the included ear fins and the sound quality is great and you do also have control over the sound in the Jaybird app. They're also wireless and very reliable for my testing and for people who go on a lot of runs and workouts, this is like the perfect earbud because it is also water resistant. The battery life is also pretty solid on these guys at around eight hours. Moving on, we do have a drone and that is because this drone is literally small enough just to fit inside a backpack like this and you're good to go. You can use your phone to control it and that is a DJI Spark. It can record 1080p video and as someone who's owned many drones in the past, including the Phantom 3, the Inspire 1, which I both crashed by the way. Um, I also had the Phantom 4. The reason why I didn't use those drones a lot of the times is because they required a case to go with it along with a lot of pieces of gear, the controller, and just because of the size alone, I just didn't fly and it kind of just sat in my office for like a year at a time. The DJI Spark has a very small form factor. The camera is pretty decent and can capture some pretty stable video. It is 1080p and the drone itself is able to fly very nicely, even with using the smartphone alone if you don't decide to get the Fly More bundle with the controller. The battery life is like 15 minutes, give or take, so you definitely wanna get a spare one of that, but the good thing is that it does charge via micro USB, so if you have your Anchor battery pack, for example, you can definitely charge this drone on the fly, literally. The next thing that we have here is the Western Digital My Passport hard drive, and this is something that I bought like three or four of this year because it is just really fun and has been very reliable as well. It's a hard drive that comes in many different colors, including blue, yellow, orange, red, and black. And I also have a silver one as well in the Ultra model, but this comes in one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte. And this one terabyte model here is just so thin and it's something that you just can't go wrong with as a student for backing up files or transferring them. And you can easily just throw this in the front compartment of this backpack. Another item I think would make a great gift is the TicWatch S. And this is an Android Wear 2.0 smartwatch that works both with iOS and Android and is very well built, has a nice display that is completely circular at a 400 by 400 resolution that is OLED. But what you will notice is that this circular display does not have the flat tire that you may have seen on other watches. 
It's a bright and sharp touchscreen, and in general for navigating this watch, it just works very nicely and it's a good size as well. With Android Wear, you're able to do many different things, including track your steps through activity apps. You can also track your sleep, look at your notifications directly from your wrist, and also change the watch faces to customize that to your liking as well. This watch overall just feels very solid, and it comes in at a price point at around $200. I'll be leaving a link to this down below as well, and also giving one away to you guys, and I'd like to give them a huge thanks for sponsoring this video. Moving on, we have one of these items that is just something you don't exactly need, kind of like the drone, but it's just cool to have and it's crazy that it could fit in your backpack and you can fit so many cool tech items in just one bag. There's the Pixel Book that can do your general productivity, and now we have the Nintendo Switch that is for gaming. So I picked this up just recently because I never actually had a chance to try it out, and I think the dual color model does look much better. There's also the screen obviously for playing your games and there's a classic such as Mario Kart that you can play directly when you're on the go. But I think because of the small form factor, this is definitely something that is fun, especially if you're flying, traveling, or just taking the bus. And you can also play multiplayer as well and it does charge via USB-C. Of course, if you want to, you still have the option to connect this to the TV and use it as a console as well. But for those who are really into the classics especially and just want something you can use both at home and on the go, then the Nintendo Switch is a great thing to add to your backpack or even give as a gift. When it comes to the front compartment, one piece of tech that I never leave the house without is the battery pack. And this is the Anchor PowerCore Fusion 5000. And this is a 5000 milliamp hour battery pack. But what's unique about it is that there is a power prong built in so you can charge this on the go and also use it as a charger both for your phone and the battery pack. 5,000 milliamp hours obviously isn't as big as other battery packs out there and it should be able to get you a couple charges and last a couple days, but it's great that there is two USB ports for charging your device and a micro USB port for charging the battery pack as well. And there is also a three level battery indicator on the side and it isn't too big at all, so it fits very nicely in the bag. If you wanna match that red theme though, Anchor also makes this 10,000 milliamp hour battery in red and I just had to get it just to fit in with this episode's theme. For a portable pair of headphones, the Beats Solo 3 Wireless is actually something that I can recommend. What I really like about it is that because Apple does own Beats, it does have the W1 chip integration that you also have on your Apple AirPods. Being an Apple user myself with a couple iPhones, an iPad, and also a few Macs as well, it's just nice to be able to easily connect seamlessly every single time to your headphones and just start listening to music right away because there's nothing more annoying than trying to mess with Bluetooth. I really like the Solo actually because it is very portable and light and what's also great about it is that the ear cups just feel great and I'm not a big fan of over ear headphones but these are on ear headphones and I found them to be nice even after hours of listening. You can also very easily fold them up and just toss them in your bag with the included carrying case and you can use them both wired and wireless. From a sound quality standpoint for a wireless headphone, I think these actually do sound pretty good and the bass is definitely there because that is what Beats is best known for. The battery life claim is up to 40 hours and that really comes down to the volume you're listening to your music at, but I think they're very stylish and for teenagers out there, this would make a great gift. The smartphone that I'm currently using right now is still the iPhone 10 as my daily driver and I've actually really enjoyed it despite it still having its few quirks with iOS 11 and the design but the case that I currently have on it is my favorite case, but it is also available in the red color for the holiday season, and that is the Kadabi Sheath. This case is less than a millimeter thick and has that nice soft touch TPU texture to it, which is my favorite texture when it comes to cases, because it does add a nice grip, but also still has protection. The buttons are all very tactile, your phone is covered all around the edge, and there is also a small lip on the front. Next up, the Google Home Mini isn't exactly something that you can take on the go because it does require it to be connected to power for use, but this is definitely a great gift, especially because it's been going on sale a lot lately. I've just loved it. I didn't really think I'd like it at first, but after getting a couple of them to try out, I think it's a fun toy. I think being able to use Google Assistant on demand around the house is very handy, especially for someone who listens to a ton of music, and I just control my Spotify directly from here. This is a great stocking stuffer and something that I have next to my bedside and the one thing that I wish it did have is a built-in battery because this would literally be a great portable speaker. For those who are looking for a great Android smartphone that is unlocked for the holiday season though, then the OnePlus 5T is definitely one of my favorite phones of the year. The OnePlus 5 was like my previous favorite until the 5T came about and just everything about this phone including the price point does scream a good value and solid quality. The new 5T has a 2160 by 1080 6 inch display that has smaller bezels and I think at this resolution it does say battery which is very nice but the screen is very sharp, very colorful and it's actually accurate but also saturated and vibrant at the same time. It has a Snapdragon 835 processor and the 128GB model I have here has 8GB of RAM which is crazy. 
The build quality is nice and much reminiscent of the OnePlus 5 or the iPhone 7. And it does also have a 3,300 milliamp hour battery with a 20 megapixel camera on the back and a secondary camera that is good for low light. But if you wanna save some money, the OnePlus 5 is literally an amazing option as well. And the secondary camera on that is a 2X zoom camera as opposed to a low light camera, which I actually prefer. The Android phone that I've currently been playing with and I've really enjoyed is a Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, which is literally the definition of a bezel-less phone. I know a lot of phones this year kind of had that bezel-less or infinity title, but this phone literally has a screen that goes all the way around the edge. And in fact, the front facing camera is found on the bottom. The phone itself is very thin, uniform, and just feels incredible in the hand because of its simplistic design. And it does have flagship specs as well, including a Snapdragon 835, six gigs of RAM, a 2160 by 1080 display that is very vibrant and sharp and almost looks like a sticker on the phone because of how close it goes to, to the edge. And there is also a 12 megapixel camera, but I think the screen alone has made me love this phone so much. So a huge thanks to Gearbest for sending this to me, and I'll leave a link down below as to where you can get this for the best price. Another great gift to give, and is one that I've recommended many times before, is a tile, whether it's a slim or mate, but this not only helps someone else with their favors, but it also does yourself a favor if you happen to live with this person who loses her keys or wallet every time you're about to leave the house. And in my household, I'm the one that does that. So I do have a tile and connectivity is kind of on and off. Sometimes it is faster than others, but for the most part, if you absolutely can't find your keys, it does do a good job of being able to track them and page your keys. And for the most part, whenever you lose your keys, it is within the proximity of the range and the tile is just a gift that isn't too expensive, but makes an amazing stocking stuffer. So there you have it, that is my holiday theme tech backpack and I think we had a bit of everything in this episode including a pixel book, you have a drone, a gaming system, earbuds, headphones and just so many things that I essentially lost track of by now that all fits into this beautiful backpack that has a nice gold zipper, green inside and bright red on the outside. I'm just really happy with the way this episode turned out and hope you guys liked it as well. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this video and also make sure you have post notifications on because I have many more videos coming up including apartment related tours but I'll see you guys in the next one.